Welcome back, you beautiful people. This is Cheap versus Primo bike packing kit. Indeed, and we've got some utterly ridiculous challenges to prove which one is better. Oh, yeah, we have. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Yes, we both absolutely love going bike packing. There's nothing better than just grabbing your bike and getting on with it. Getting stuff strapped to your bike from stuff laying around your house and in your garage. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But you know what? Bike packing can be tough, yeah. miserable mm -hmm. even. And so I want the best equipment I can get so that I can have the best experience. But um, have I wasted my money? Or oh, have I not spent enough money? <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> So this is my Canyon Exceed CFR Limited. It is the lightest bike that Canyon actually make. The frame, depending on size, is about 835 grams. That's not, not that much heavier than my sleeping bag, to be fair. Um, now my bike in an extra small, in its current guise, with pedals and a bottle and my Garmin mount, weighs just under nine kilograms. So this is bike packing race territory and it is absolutely primo, look at it. This is my Nuke Proof Scout. It's a medium sized frame, 29 inch wheels, front and rear. Uh, it is a very durable hardtail. It's aluminum frame. There's not one bit of carbon on this bike. Anyway, this bike isn't as light as Anna's bike. This comes in at 14.9 kilograms. The best thing about this bike is I commute on it to work. I ride it on the trails. I go bike packing on it. I race it. I do everything on this bike, everything. So these are my Toe Peak bike packing bags. I've got a front loader and a back loader here. The units are around 50 to 80 pounds per unit, depending on what model you're purchasing. They usually come with this sort of waterproof dry bag with an air release valve in it. So you can open it up, squeeze all of the air out of it and get it into a nice compact shape and then seal it back off so it stays nice and small. And the benefit of this system is it's completely rackless. So you don't need to add your bags or panniers to a pannier rack or anything like that. So you're saving a lot of weight uh, thanks to this special strapping system, which allows you to mount them direct to your bags. So Anna's all about saving on weight. I'm all about saving my cash. So my front loader is this 10 litre bag right here. And it's a bit of a chunky, kind of fat sausage looking thing. But on the rear, again, is another 10 litre. I got some webbing straps here some kind of stretchy bungee straps right here. So all of that there cost me 66 pounds, all of that. Whereas one of hers costs 60 to 80 pounds. And now for cooking, well, my kitchen is as minimal as possible and as quick as possible. And I've got a few options here. I've got this really nifty little folding kettle and you can get your food in there. You can boil it up or make a cup of coffee or something, or you can put your pre-made dinners in there, which I tend to do. And then all you need is a tiny little gas and a tiny little stove. And so that is kitchen number one, it's tiny. Um, kitchen number two, this is for the coffee lovers. Just need to add your gas to the bottom here. It'll boil half a litre of water in about two minutes. And this one comes with its own little coffee press as well. Right, my kitchen, uh, I've gone super basic, like really, really basic. So I've got my gas, the smallest little container I could find. I've got that and then in here is my burner, which to be honest, it, didn't cost me any, it cost me like 12 quid. Now, Anna, I did see, has like a little kettle, which I was a bit jealous about, but the food I buy, baked beans, comes in a tin. So you can just plonk that on your fire, heat it up, stir it up, eat it, drink it, out of there, you wash that, you can actually reuse this to boil the water from a pot noodle. And for sleeping arrangements, I've gone for, well, Primo. Primo in cost and lightweightness, but also just in comfort. I've got a cloud base from Outkit here, which is effectively like a blow up mattress, but slightly Gucci. -er. Uh, and then I've got this lightweight Firelight 350. Uh, this weighs 620 grams and it compresses down even smaller than it is. Uh, and it may look big to you, but this is actually 
literally a sub-zero sleeping bag. Uh, it'll go down to minus 18, um, although slightly risky, uh, but comfort level is minus two. And this tiny little package is my sleeping quarters. This is the Topeak Bike Camper Tent. It is specifically for bike camping. It has no poles at all. In fact, it uses your wheel and your bike as the poles effectively. Now, it is a water-resistant polyurethane coated um, outer shell and it also has an inner shell as well to keep all of those little bugs and uh, creepy crawlies out of your bed and uh, it only weighs four pounds so yeah I mean that's pretty primo isn't it? Right I've gone completely the opposite direction to Anna where she has a tent so I've got a hammock right here with all this webs and straps and everything oh, in here and has a net and you're in a cocoon super cozy and comfy but when the nights do get a little bit chilly I do carry this now this is quite bulky but this is basically a thermo sack that goes around your hammock so it keeps you warm from the draft coming from underneath which I learned my lesson really quick when I did that once, first time. I, I hated sleeping in a hammock until I bought that. This is a rain shield, sh like sheet thing, so that can go over me. My sleeping bag, it's a very lightweight one. It's small, it's compact. I went for the smallest one, but it cost me 30 pound, and um, it is a summer bag. It can only go down to five degrees, so anything like five is kind of uncomfortable. So summer sleeping bag. But that combined with that, they're actually quite warm. So 35 pounds and these bits here are about 30 pounds, 45 pounds actually for that, 22 pounds for that. And that was like 15 pounds. And that is my sleeping arrangements right here. That, that's, but that takes up a lot of room. Like if I was to go for multiple days, that and some clothes, I think I'd have to wear a backpack. Talk about backpacks. I actually do wear this, my bum bag, which is full of my tools, the things I need if I were to get a puncture or have a mechanical. That's probably the most premium bit that I wear. That there, that costs probably that. Enough of that chit chat. Yeah. What have we got? It's time for the challenges, but we're going to do things a little differently and you're going to keep score. Yeah. You're going to tell us down in the comments below who wins each stage because who's to say whether the fastest is the best? Or the lightest. Yeah, you might just have the coolest set up. Oh. But uh, I think you'd be pretty cool in that hammock, actually. Oh, but anyway, let us know down in the comments below who wins each stage. Let's get on with the challenges. Right, Blake, apparently presenter life is getting on top of you and you need an urgent trip away. Uh, so who can get ready the quickest? <sighs> right, hold well on. Let's get a timer up here. But look how much you've got. Look how much <laughs> I've got. <laughs> and your bags are already on the bike. I know. Oh, I've lost my clock. Right, I, here we I go. Guess that is a... Stopwatch. Uh, stop. You ready? Steady. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. <laughs> Well, this oh, one's going to be pretty easy. simple yeah. for me because I've already got a rack lift system. Rack so, uh, clip and Goes clip. Oh, that's my tent done. Yeah. You all right there, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you? How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Right down in the bottom. Chilli, vegetable chilli. Full dinner in there. Oh, there's nothing on the floor. I've still got tons of the floor. Just take my time over this uh, <laughs> final. Was that the last clip? Yeah. What's the time on that? 130. 1.39. <laughs> <laughs> the money I saved on my kit is money in my pocket when it starts to chuck a dark and get a hotel. start building a fire or something <laughs> while, while I wait for you. Build a little tiny <sighs> fire. <sighs> right, so here's a tip. Oh. <laughs> Around there. Look at that. It is a bit of a faff when you don't have the correct stuff, but hey, <laughs> that costs, doesn't it? I reckon I could build like a Keep whole miniature log cabin. Okay, look, while I wait for you. Hey, you probably get like five miles in if we we're racing. Anna, get ready with a timer. Three, two, one. 
And stop. 420. <laughs> that's a good number. All right, that's it. Good number, that, 420. Yeah. But if it's about speed, you win, because 139. Yeah, I managed to get a nap in and everything yeah. while you were faffing. Um, I'm ready. But next challenge, should we yeah. do it? Yeah. Let's see what the next challenge is. Right, Blake, challenge number two. Too much weight means precious watts are wasted. No, not there, on your bike. OK. Right, so now that you are packed, who has the lightest rig? Fucking stay of it. Oh, we've got even... <laughs> All right, should I go first or ladies yeah. first? Go on then, after you. Whoa. What is it? What does it say? Let me look, let me look. Let me look. 20.08. 20 kilos. Oof. So you've Ooh. added about six kilos. I've added stuff, quite a lot you? of kilo juries. <laughs> There's a lot of kilo juries there. But you know what? Kilo. You're well coordinated. I do love it. Yeah. Right, so yours came in at nine kilos. Yeah. I reckon with your bags, I think it's 14 kilos. You reckon? Yeah, so my bike without bags. You reckon? Yeah, let's see. You wish. I reckon it's going to be lighter than that. Da, da, da. What we got? Oh! <laughs> 14.3. Is it? Yeah, I was, right. yeah, I was bang oh on. Good. Look at that. Good point for you. Yes. There you go. So 14 kilos. My bike with all of this stuff, kitchen, bed, everything, Where's... weighs the same as his Scout with nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Well, ah, but you know, hey, who do you think won? Does it matter about weight? I'm a weight weenie. What do you think? Yeah. Think uh... His looks cool. We'll see. Right. We'll see. Go for a ride. <laughs> Let's go yeah. for a ride. Ready to uh, set up? Yeah, it's next challenge time. Yeah. Right? Challenge just in. You ready for this? Ready. The sun is setting fast and it it's is. about to pee it down. Is it about is to pee it, it down? Well, fun. apparently it is. Um, who, can't, who can put up their tent quarters the fastest? Oh, it's oh. another race. It's another race. You ready for this? I'm steady. Ready? ready? Go. Go. <laughs> I'm actually going to take my time. We've just ridden so far. I know. Right around that tree. Right <laughs> around that tree. Your little tree tent. Yo! Whoosh! Oh, you are actually nearly done. <sighs> so that's my tent. I need to get my wheel out. Let's get this nice and straight. It's good. Maybe take this off. He's actually nearly done. <laughs> nearly done, I am. Wheel, no matter what size, 26 through to 7, 700C, or 29er, done. Poles, achieved. It's pretty cool though, isn't That's it? It's pretty good. It's like a snake's wedding. <laughs> um, right, stinks. and then, how cool is this, right? It just like hooks over the seat. Yeah. Done. I could be losing <laughs> again. Well, I just need to take my time pegging it out now. Bath, isn't it? I'm done. You're done. What's the time? I have to get in it. I'm done. It. Time is. Oh, I've just got. Nine minutes, 18. I'm I'm not in yet, but I'm in. Oh. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> oh, I'm in now. Stop the clock. 9:30, effectively. He's in. He's in. <laughs> 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 that doesn't count. That doesn't... No, I was in. I was in. No, Ow. that doesn't count. Okay, this is so... oh, uh, <laughs> camera 
ramp set up. I think that was almost a draw. That was wasn't it? nearly a draw. Mm. Yeah, if I, I did fall out of mine. Yeah, you did. We'll just gloss over that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But uh, it's not up to us to decide, it's up to you to decide. Let us know down in the comments below which camp is better. Oh, Doesn't yeah. it have to be speed, no, but it's cooler. No. But that is actually cool. That's I do like that. I actually that really, is like really that. like that. Too. This is about 50 50 at the moment. <laughs> anyway, oh. I'm a bit hungry. Yeah. Well, I, them it's beans funny are you calling. should say that. I wonder yeah. what the next challenge is. Ooh. Okay, Blake. Producer says. Nutrition is key to ensure you have a good yes. amount of energy for a bike packing trip. So yep. it's time to cook lunch. You ready for this? I'm it's not ready. timed. Just not lunch. Make a, make a good then. lunch. Well, almost. Yeah. Almost. It's okay. getting dark, isn't it? All right. All right, let's get on with it. I get my Gordon Ramsay on. Gordon Ramsay. Oosh. Right, time for dinner. <laughs> uh, what have you got on the menu? Uh, I have got a vegetable chili and rice mixed with uh, chili. Uh, whole grain brown rice as well. Wow, <laughs> I got baked beans. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to set up mine. How long does. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, what? 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 How long does yours take? <laughs> what? To cook? Oh, let's <laughs> take it. Hey, one thing I didn't point out earlier is when we were weighing our kit, that included. Uh, a litre of water, so it's like a kilo there. Well, it is. So right? where I added five kilos to my setup, actually, it's probably a bit more like four kilos. Yeah. Without the water. Better get cooking. Take yeah, eight no, minutes. No, no, no. I'm gonna be okay. eating and in bed, ready for the next day. Beans, beans in the morning. Maybe. Look at that, mine are bubbling already. Look. Oh well, yeah. You're done? No. Yeah, well, I've boiled my water, so I don't need to boil it anymore. So I'm just going to keep All it right, in hot yeah, water to finish off. What am I going to do? I forgot my spork. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat mine like an energy gel. I want to <laughs> see this. At least I this. can. Right. Fruit it in. Oh, I can't beat beans, can you? Oh, there you go, look. Look. Chili and rice. Mmm, num, num. Mm. Don't eat the plastic. There you go. Yeah, That's right. fine, it's like a savoury energy gel. Oh. Don't even need a spork. Go all over my face, but you know hair. what? Energy. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Bike packing. Mm. 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 On that note, mm. dinner was incredible. Oh, so good. Like five star rating over here, and, isn't it? Uh, Cutlery leaves a little to be desired, though, doesn't it? I for think both we, of us. For, yeah, for the both of us. <laughs> but I'm actually coping with this. You're coping. Yeah, I'm coping. This is fun. Yeah. Mm. Less mm -hmm. washing up, isn't it? I guess it's time to see what the final challenge is. Mm. 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 All right. Let's see what our mysterious producer has given us. Okay. Ready. Steady. You are in Britain. Yeah, it's yeah, right. We are. It may be sunny right now. Yeah, it, it is it definitely. Is. Yep. But it never lasts. Is your kit watertight? Oh no. oh no. What does that mean? <laughs> How are you going to get the weather guards on this one, production mm. guy? We have some tech up our sleeve from the tech set. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Mm -hmm. The weather has changed. <laughs> are you ready? Get zipped up or get sprayed up. <laughs> this is the challenge where we find out that our products are waterproof or rainproof. Obviously, this oh. one is going to be, isn't it? But let's find out. Heavy. Yeah, all good. Oh, we're doing all right, actually. Nose cam. Fine, all fine. The storm is now over. Yay! It's not raining anymore, but you've got puddles anyway. Oh, wow. There's a lot of rain on there. There's a lot of rain. 
I'm drying it. Are you? Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. It's a product that works, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I hope it works, and it does work. I've it tried does. Tested. No, we've proved it. Right, it's your turn. It's my turn. Play! It's, it's ten Can you hear the gentle pitter-patter? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can now. The great thing about this is it's thermal line, so it's silver in here, so it'll keep the heat in, it'll bounce off, keep me warm. But look at that. Rain drop. It's waterproof, this. But the one thing I need to point out about a hammock is when it rains really hard, it comes down the trees and then down the straps and into your uh, hammock. So. Love. That was dreamy. That was not bad, it's, was it? It's good it's under here. Just but a gentle shower. Just a gentle shower. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't get wet. Look. No, not it's not one, even on the inside. No, not one and bit. That is brilliant. I love it. Well, it is thermal lined, isn't mm, it? But it's not our decision to make, is it? No, stop. Up to the viewers. Who won the uh, the rain challenge? <sighs> Tough, Tough one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Mine is ultimately lighter and a lot less faffy for most of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's quite expensive. It is a little bit compared to mine. Mine wasn't that much to get. To get you out there bike packing is pretty cheap, but it all depends on how many times you're gonna do it in that season of yours. Are you gonna do it more than three times, five times, six times? Then maybe, yes, spending a little bit more would make your life a little bit more faff free and whereas this is yeah. and this is faff this yeah. is faff but it's cheap <laughs> but you can actually just spend the money and leave it in your garage yeah but you know what we still both got the job done we did we? we still both went bike packing so i guess it's up to the viewers now isn't it let us know who won each stage let us know down in the comments below who you think won overall as well and which setup you would go for primo yeah. Or not so primo. Mm, mm. Yes, no, but if you want to find out all the results, watch the Dirt Shed show the following week and uh, the results will be in there. <gasps> oh, really? Mm, yeah. Exciting. It is exciting. Right. 